All right, you guys, so you want to turn this. into this. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright you guys, so as promised, um, I'm going to show you how to take audio, um, any audio in Audacity and make it sound like surround sound kind of effect. So, what you want to do is open up Audacity if you don't already have it. You can go let me just show you really quick. Alright. Audacity. Just type that in and then let me just show you the site that I used to get it. Um, I believe it was this. It, it looks like it's high. Okay, so yeah, you want to go to this site. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the link below, um, for now. Um, but yeah, I'll put that in the link. Um, but yeah, let's just get to doing, get to doing this for now. So you want to take any audio, you don't have to use it, you can use any audio. Um, so I'm just gonna drag this into here. And that's, I find the quickest way to import instead of having another file, import it, blah, blah, blah. You can just minim, minimize this and then get your audio from wherever and then just drag it right from whatever folder or wherever you are into the program and it just does that. So what we're going to do, what we want to do is if you're on a Windows, Control D, if you're on a Mac, Command D, and that duplicates the audio. And then you want to take the right bracket thing down here, bring that up 20% pan, and you're going to pan this from the center to 60% left, right up there, then you're going to take your zoom tool, zoom in on the audio, <coughs> sorry, until you get something that kind of looks like this with the audio, so you're just nice and zoomed in, then you want to select the time shift tool, click on this one, and you want to shift it up a bit, and then if you want to play it back after you've shifted it, you just hit the um, skip to start, and then you hit spacebar to play. Um, drag it down a bit. So now it's kind of being that, let's drag it up a bit. Yeah, if you drag it up too much, it just sounds echoey. You don't, you don't want it. You want it to sound like a surround sound, not not like too echoey. Is so we're gonna add not too echoey. Um, we're gonna add the reverb and the echo later, um, just a bit. So about there is probably good, and then you can zoom back out. And then the next part you're gonna do, like, you know zoomed in right about there and then you wanna if you wanna add any um... what's the word? fade yeah, sorry <laughs> fade Switch. oh jeez, that's a little loud okay, play and if you want you can add an outro an out, uh, Fade out, sorry, I'm, I'm losing my words here, but make sure the outro is the same. You don't want to have over, you don't want to have audio finish over another finish kind of thing. You don't want that to happen when you're trying to make it sound actually good. And what I usually do nowadays is a cross fade out, I kind of do that twice, but like that. Make sure it's like right about in the same area, so like right about there. Effect, cross fade out, cross fade out again. Click the line to mix it. Now it's okay. Not there yet. We have some effects. So effect, reverb, and then with this, you want to make sure the room size is 65. Play delay is 58. 
reverberance 75, damping 45, tone low 83, tone high 75, wet gain negative 1, dry gain negative 1, stereo width 100. And if you want to just preview it before you actually listen to what you can. And then it, it sounds like that. Um, And then you want to, when you did that, you want to make sure you had the topper one, upper one, so I did with the 20. And then once that has the effect applied, go to the lower one with the 60, go to effect again, and then you go to echo. And then <clears throat> when you do this, you want to make sure the delay, delay time seconds is 0.3. And you want to make the K 0.2. You can preview that too if you want. And that sounds like that. So that way, once this is done, <clears throat> we can preview this. <clears throat> takes a while, depending on how big the file is. Um, sometimes it can take up to like a minute, two minutes, five minutes, to where I just sit there and wait for it, and I kind of do other shit while I'm waiting. Um, <sighs> There we go. So then, just hit play. If you really want to know what it sounds like, you can just plug your headphones in and see where your headphone jack is and actually listen to it with, you know, right into your ears with both sides so you really get the full, like you really know what it actually sounds like when you uh, have your headphones in or you're listening to it on the go. And that'll, <clears throat> that'll give it a nice surround sound effect without having to try and install an effect on your device. You can just go in and use an Audacity and you can do it yourself. And it'll sound amazing, in my view. I think it sounds amazing. Um, and then if you want to save your file too, you can. If you just go to File, Export. And then when you do this, you um, if you want to save it as an MP3, you have to download um, this thing called Lame for Audacity, which I can show you guys. Um, actually, I think I'll just leave the link in the description too, so you can actually, guys can just go and download that. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this was nice and short, I think. But um, hope you guys liked this. Um, I just kind of did it because, you know, I like doing these kind of videos and just kind of teaching you guys how I do what I do and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later.